How to easily train your dog not to jump. Today, people are busier because of different things like work-related activities or projects. The busier they are, the more stress they get. Good thing there's always someone who's waiting for them, and that is their dog. If you have dogs, then you know that they're always excited to see you. Your furry friends will definitely greet and jump for joy when they see you come home. Now, speaking of dogs jumping out of joy, there may be some problems that you may encounter. Sometimes, your furry friend becomes too excited that they'll scratch or bite your clothes in a playful manner. Your other family members won't even escape this kind of greeting from your canine friend. Fortunately for you and your family, we made this video to help you quickly train your dog to behave. Why do dogs jump to us? Before getting on with training your dog, you should first understand why your furry friend jumps on people. Dogs tend to jump whenever they get excited about something. They would also playfully bite, scratch, or run around the place because they just can't contain their happiness. You may be gone for only an hour or from work, but it's like days for your dogs. It's the reason why they're always excited to see you. Another reason is that your pooch wants your full attention. Leaping towards you when your dog sees you is their way of saying please look at me human. It may be adorable at first, but it can also cause troublesome effects in time. Steps in training your dog not to jump. Step 1, try to ignore what your dog is doing. Now what you're doing in this first step is conditioning your furry friend. As you know, your dog will initially jump on you when they see you. The reason is that it's their way of communicating what they want to say to you. So, as a fur parent, you have to teach your dog how to communicate correctly with humans like you. If you ignore your dog, they'll soon understand that what they did will not get your attention. It isn't an easy task because they're still going to do it right away. But don't worry, as we're still in the first step. In the following steps, we'll finalize everything so that your dog will be able to control their excitement. Step 2, Teach Your Dogs to Obey Basic Commands After initiating the conditioning part on your canine friend, we'll now use verbal commands. Now, before proceeding with this step, make sure that your dog knows how to obey basic commands. One of the basic commands that we will use is to make your canine friend sit. If your pooch knows how to respond to it, they'll immediately stop jumping and control themselves. Remember to train your dogs first to listen to what you say. Don't worry because teaching your furry friends isn't that hard. You can start with a treat in your hand and tell your dog to sit. You have to wait for them to sit before giving out the treats. Once you've trained your dogs, this second step will be handy. Step 3, Stopping Your Dog From Leaping On People Congratulations! If you're here at step 3, then probably you've successfully stopped your dog using those two steps before. So, here on step 3, we're going to up things by training your dog to stop leaping on other people. Do remember that this step may be challenging because you're training your dog with a different person. To successfully conduct this training, you'll need a volunteer like a family member or a friend. Next, your volunteer should do the same thing in step 1 that is ignoring your dog. Now, since this step is relatively challenging, we'll use treats as a prize if your dog behaves after being dismissed. Suppose you and your volunteer are successful, up things by going outside your house. Tell your volunteer to go to a corner where your dog can't see him. After a while, use the sign to let your volunteer know to walk towards you. Observe how your dog behaves when your volunteer approaches you. Give your dog a treat if they behaved, or repeat those steps until they can control their excitement things you can consider to help you control your dog. You know, dog training can be challenging. It's not like your dog will immediately understand what you're teaching. It'll also take time, patience, and treats to train your dog thoroughly. So, in the meantime, you could use these things to help you train your furry friends. 1. Dog Fence If your dog is always inside your house, you may want to use a dog fence. There are different types of indoor fence, which depends on where you will put it. It'll help you contain your excited dog with ease. You could also use it as a training ground where your dog should behave before letting him outside. 2. Use a leash. The most common thing that you could use to restrain your dog. Now, it's essential to make sure you're buying the right kind of leash for your furry friend. You could also use it in steps 2 and 3 to train your dog for basic commands and restrain them. Please remember to supervise your dogs when you use a leash. Sometimes, your canine friends become too excited that their leash harms their necks. 
Final words. When you're training your dog to do something or to obey you, you must be patient. Like what we mentioned earlier, training won't be that easy. It'll take time and consistent practice to perfect it. Whatever happens, please do not punish your dogs may it be physically or verbally, especially when they jump on you. As a fur parent, you should always practice positive reinforcement on your dogs. You may not see it, but physical and verbal punishments can also affect your fur buddies. So, try to be patient while enjoying the training with your dog. After all, your dogs just missed you so badly that they can't contain their happiness whenever you come home. Thanks for watching. For more dog training tips, click on the link below and get your free dog training video series.